Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to Animatica 2 Explorer Series. Last episode, we got our first Nether Star finally. You know, speedrunning strats. Episode 50, finally got Nether Stars. But uh, yeah, we built this really ugly looking box to me. And, uh, oh, hello. Probably should have uh, lit this up. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. So what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to break this actually down and build a more permanent one and may not actually even use the Ionite. Yeah, I will just use that. I don't. Yeah, I guess that would probably be. So I'm like, is it worth it to use? I could use a cheaper one. Or a lower tier one, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I need them. I need them anyway, and I have the. That's right, I have the the lens to get those the most out of, so. Um, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to build it behind, and I think we want... Why don't we go ahead and get the Wither Builder, I think it is, yep. We do all that, I just... I think that's actually... The... Yeah, the Tesla core. In case. All right, so that's easy enough. We'll use the another star we just got. Get a wither builder. Soul sand. I used a whole bunch of soul sand, didn't we? So there's that. Then we also have the close cousin skulls that we're getting. To 22. I just used a couple more in there. We used three, so eh, not super fast, but it is what it is. Oh, is there such a thing as fortune on those? Like a fortune add on? Is that a thing? That is a thing. Is that? That needs to be enchanted with fortune. Much as like, does that actually work? I have no idea. I was thinking that was that mob crusher thing, but no, actually additions. So, yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna, let's just break this all down, actually. And I think I'm gonna build it off the back. The only issue with that is I need to get power. I guess we'll just use energy conduits. What are I gonna do? Yeah, probably because we're probably gonna have another mob crusher out there. The other option is we're gonna need a. I'm just trying to think. What do we want? We want there is a mob grinder from the Conic Evolution. It only requires one of those cores, which we actually just got. Oh, excuse me, I just yawned. Um, but it does require charged draconium, which we cannot get yet. Uh, we haven't built one of these things yet. I mean, it's not difficult. You just need one pedestal and one crafting core. Uh, but you need two billion, two billion energy. So not quite there yet. So I think we're gonna. Yeah, I'll just build one of these. And I think the mob crusher. I think that actually works with it. I could be wrong though. But um, if we saw the recipe actually had the if we want to upgrade it to the Draconic one, it actually uses a mob crusher. So I actually and this is super easy to different gears. Kind of annoying. It's annoying because there's only so many put in there all right so i'll get this and then let me rebuild the thing i'll try to make it and i guess it has to be i don't know well just like i said last episode i'm worried it's going to clip out the top that's the last thing i want and it i don't think um, block destruction is on since we claimed all the chunks, all the base. But uh, I could be wrong. Where did that come from? It must have been one I was 
over by the mob farm. I didn't even see myself pick that up. All right, so let me do that. Let me get some more energy conduits. And I need a bunch more than that. I should probably just do a recipe for them. I do I did not do a recipe. That's such an easy recipe. I don't know why I didn't just. There we go. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. Gone ahead and built off kind of on the back here. And I think what I'm going to do is after this gets working, I'm probably just going to cover all this stuff up with uh, bricks so we don't see all this blue stuff because, yeah, I don't like that. But uh, gone ahead and connected with power underneath and connected a little bit of conduits underneath. Now, did I? I'm trying to remember. Don't think I. No, I forgot to put the ender fluid conduits. I'm going to have to do that because I believe. Wait, no, that'll go in here. That's right. That's right. Um, I'm going to connect this. Wait, it's not on. That's why. Is that why it's not connecting? I don't know. We'll see. I can never remember with these. But I'm going to connect that with the essence and then feed the essence over there. So we get essence from the mob farm, which I actually have turned off. So it was getting annoying. The mob sounds and uh, this one. So that should speed up the wither skeletons as well. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then... That'll go that way. So I'm, I get a bit confused with the Ender Fluid Conduits and the Item Conduits because they look they look the same to me. But, all right, so I got the chest here, and I'm pretty sure I can feed the stuff into the... Unfortunately, I can't see it. Let me see if I can. Let me grab this. Let me, I'm going to do like a step down, but... Bit awkward. Actually, let's just. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I'm like, I just want to see the Wither Builder. That's all I'm. I'm like making this way more complicated than it needs to be. All right. Let's just let's do this. There we go. There's the Wither Builder. And if I put something in, I won't put both. But we'll just do like. That. All right. It did come out. There's four of them. Yes. There we go. It built that. That's what I thought would happen. And it, I think it filled up. Of course, I can't see it. Let's just double check. Yes, it did do the above. Yeah, it fills up that. That's what I. That's what I thought it did. All right, so that's good to know. Also, I don't have a door here. I probably need to grab two more of that. I'm doing that. Two of that to the door. All right, so technically when I throw these wither skeleton skulls in there, it'll start spawning the withers. I don't want to do it. I'm not quite ready for that. So I believe the mob crusher works, but I could be wrong. I feel like I have killed the wither. I don't think it's instant, but I'm pretty sure I've done this with a mob crusher before. We shall see. Also, I'm going to do this. I think that's the right way. I want to push out the drops into a chest right there. All right, I th think good. Are we good? I feel like we may be good. All right, that's running. I'm always like terrified of like actually spawning them. All right, here we go. Right. Let's 
spawn in over there. Hopefully nothing gets broken. Alright. Alright, something happened. <laughs> um, broke some blocks. Probably because I didn't have the door on. But uh, alright, there we go. There is another star, wither ash, and the soul sand wasn't <laughs> supposed to be there. Alright, let's try this. With this closed. So. That, did it break? I had a torch on top, I think. That would have broke. I heard it broke. No, it didn't break that. Well, these blocks feel pretty good. Just double checking I haven't blown anything up anywhere. No, everything... I think we're good. I don't want to, like, jinx myself here, but I think we're good. Try one more time. Alright, it feels like it's doing something weird with the soul sand. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's working. I definitely have lost... I've definitely lost uh, some soul sand in the process. Let me build one more... Or two. The only thing that's kind of weirding me out is that snapping sound. I think that is. I actually don't know. I'm worried if, if I put too much in this. Okay, I need to get that out as well. I don't want to waste that stuff. Let me build the thing over, and then if I jump, we'll just do. How about we do like that? Has probably built that right. Yes. We'll do two at once, I think. We'll we'll see how that works. So the three that we need to spawn it and then the four. And let me connect that really quick. And this is the end of it. Alright, well there we go. It just spawned because we did the two buckets. So, yeah, I think we're good there. So, let's put the rest of this in here and see what happens when it spawns two. I don't want to, I'm just so worried it's going to clip out the top. And then it spawns. <laughs> And then it spawns those. All right. Well, I mean, it doesn't. I feel like this is pretty good, right? Should we just go crazy and see what happens? I'm going to do. I should have glass, but I'm just going to build like <laughs> a little thing. So the explosions don't knock me off because that would be annoying. But yeah, we're just going to let's just do it. There we go. And I, I, I check it out. I check it out. <laughs> All right. So what is that like? Does anyone know what that that torch snapping sound is? It sounds like something's breaking and. It must be this the soul sand. It's putting soul sand down and blowing it up. I, that must be what it is. Which I don't. I feel like we're losing soul sand in the process, but all right. Well, there we go. We'll just throw the rest in there. I haven't been paying attention. We got what four in here. That 
is so weird. I really can't figure out what the heck that is. Other than... Well, then. But, alright. Well, I'll take it. We're getting other stars. And, uh... I think for now, we'll just do this manually. I don't want to have it... I'm sure we could have it running. I'm sure I could have it running and it'd be fine, but... I'm just not... I'm not quite ready to let it just go crazy and then, like, go AFK. So, I don't want to have... I'm not going to connect the... The Wither Skulls to the, the thing yet. And plus, we don't have Soul Sand automated. I'll probably just have to go vein mine a bunch of it in the nether. All right, uh, but that's enough of that. I'm not going to finish doing that. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to cover that up so I don't have to do the blue. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I think that is... That's like, what, 95% automated? I just need the way to get the... The Wither Skulls and the you know, things back. But is there a Soul Sand? Is there like a easy way to get that? Yeah, of course there are. There's that. We can also add it with Wither Ash. I feel like that's not the best use of. No, we'll just leave that. Oh, another star generator. Now. Other than this stuff, I don't know what else we'd be uh, <laughs> using that for. All right, so we'll let that run, and uh, we'll do that. So let me figure out what I want to do. There's a couple things I've kind of wanted to do, so let me figure out what to do next. Okay, just kind of looking around through the quest book and everything, there is a couple of things that I need to be working towards. As we can see... The elite crafting ultimate crafting table is one we need to start working towards. Um, but to get that, we're going to need an elite crafting table. And for that, we're going to need the advanced, so on and so forth. So a lot of this is just me doing recipes. Can't remember. No, we don't have any black iron or anything like that. set up. So that's going to be a lot of recipes that I'm going to have to do for that. Um, Black iron ingots and all that stuff. Basic components, black iron slates. It's kind of annoying. I was hoping there would be like a a plate recipe, a machine compressor recipe, but uh, anyway. So that is one thing we need to work towards. Um, the other one, I'm going to need to get a crafting or thing here, a combination crafting. We're going to have to do that. The other thing is the advanced carpenter. We're going to have to get that sooner than later for these wyvern cores, because you can only craft them in there. I'm a mana, I have not looked that up. Oh boy. Well, that's, <laughs> that's something I didn't, I didn't see. I'll have to look that up as well. Um, so quite a few things we need to get going. Let's see, anything? Nothing, nothing overly difficult in the advanced carpenter. So that's that. Um, I need the tier five and tier six miners. We are working on that. Remember, we need the tier five structure frames, which need nether stars, which is the reason I set that up. So we are working on that. And last but not least, I need to fix our, well, not fix, but I definitely need to get some power gen here and I think what I'm gonna do and I think what my end game power gen is actually gonna be is gonna be these environmental tech solars I, I think um, I have crafted these in the past I can't remember what mod pack it was it was a sky block and I really really like I don't know I know it's like OP oh it generates power it's so easy lol get good but like I don't know I like solar panels I think they're fun <laughs> so I think I am going to do that, and we're going to take a look and kind of see what we are kind of looking at. I don't know how complicated these get. Um, we can craft up to the tier 3. I did see that. Tier 4 requires the advanced crafting table. Tier 5 requires that. 
tier six requires the ultimate. So I mean, we're kind of working on these at the same time, which is good. And holy cow, <laughs> uh, it's always fun when we see stuff like this. But as we can see, we're going to need to really ramp up our our generation of items. So that's kind of what we're working on. But uh, let's take a look at like a very basic one is just this. Now, I believe you can do any solar panel in there and tier two. All right, so it does take the previous tier, which is fine. So let's just start. I'm gonna do a lot of, I'm gonna make a lot of recipes, I think for this. So do I have, I do have that one. All right, I couldn't remember if I did uh, litharite, I guess. The solar cells, that's the other thing. Because you can use whichever one you want. Obviously, I don't think you can use... Well, maybe you can. I actually don't know. Can you use, like, the top tier on the lower? I have no idea. So there's the lower one. And then each upgrade requires the one below. All right. That's good. That's kind of what I wanted to know. So let's go ahead. All right. I guess I don't need to do the blocks. That's kind of... Because we only need that for the controller, it looks like. So if I just did... Oh, it's nine. Duh. I don't know why I was thinking it was four. So one, two, three, four. Is that... Must have got that from a quest, because I have never crafted it up. And then I guess we would do the cheapest one. Or at least for crafting this up. So what are we looking at? Interconnect. I think I... Hmm. Apparently I did two recipes for that. It happens. Um, yes, this one I am going to need because we are going to be... I have to a bunch of this up. So we have that, we have that. We have intersect for take. All right. Well, this isn't, this isn't that bad at all. I've seen some solar panel recipes that are just insane. Looking at you, Greg Tech New Horizons. Oh man, I'm running out of assemblers already. I feel like I just added like eight more. Holy cow. I only have two left. All right, but let's do that. Quick enough. And there we go. So there's the, the lowest tier tier one and we did look at I did look at the thing earlier we need four modifiers I'm not going to change these you can change them into piezo modifiers and I believe this means it generates with rain um I do have mica and stuff actually. I mean this isn't the end of the world and I have a whole bunch of wither dust now I probably will then throw these on there. But for now, we'll just use the null ones. I'm just curious how much mica we actually have. Like a... Just over a stack. So we're not getting a whole lot of it. I could speed it up and put the... Or the right laser on that, but I'll just leave it. Alright, so... We need that. We need. We have four of those. So then I need sixteen structure frames. Now I think you can do. No. Does it need to be? I'm curious if you could do like a higher tier structure frame. I actually don't know. I think you can, but I already forgot what I needed. Sixteen. Now thankfully we have a lot of this already. Done. This is going to be a bit annoying. I'm going to have to craft up like a few dozen of these. <laughs> Here, let's just do a few stacks. All right, there we go. We're going to need all these anyway. Moving forward, might as well get them. So, what did I say? 16? Now, the solars, we can actually do any of the solars, whichever we want. And it'll produce more. 
So I think we might as well. Let's just go ahead and at least get tier four. It's tier three. Four. Actually. You can do all the way up to tier five. Tier five? What? We have tier four. Is this tier four or tier five? I don't remember which one we have. Oh, that's tier four. All right. I was just looking at this. I'm like, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you need the previous tier to get the thing. All right. So we obviously can't get that. Is there one higher than that? No, there isn't one higher than that. Alright, I'm just getting myself a little confused here. Alright, well, let's pull that out. I don't want these all next to each other. That I don't need. That. I'm trying to remember what order I did it and I can't remember. I think it was like that, wasn't it? I could just look right here. There we go. Just so I can find them easier in the future. So we got our structure frames. And then I guess we'll do solar. Well, I guess we'll just do nine of those. Is that? I guess that makes sense, right? Because we're going to use, as we expand it, we're just going to keep adding more of those solars. We might as well. Um, I don't know if they need to be all the same. Can you mix and match? I actually don't know. Um, the, the tier one, though, is not going to produce a lot of power. But as you can see, it ramps up to be pretty big once you get to... Well, we're about this with our... Our, what are we producing in this thing? 50,000. So that's actually doing a decent amount. But, uh, yeah. But once we get to, like, Tier 4, we are, like, really ramping it up here. But a well, lot. And I didn't even really look at how many materials that took, to be honest. So, boy. Pretty sure I have one in here too. I don't know where I must have crafted one, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to throw this on top. And I kind of want I want this to take precedence once we really get higher and then to throttle the other thing is what kind of want to happen. So we'll see if that actually works out. I'm just going to use these for now 250,000. That'll do us up to tier four. So how do we want to do this? I guess we'll do, I'm gonna do this like kind of up. How about like right here? Doesn't need to be high up, but I'm kind of want it just out of the way. We'll do, that. I think it goes like there, and then solars go on top of it, if I remember correctly. A little bit more involved, but yeah, it looks like we do structure frames on the outside, the things in the middle, and then we really need to get create a flight. That is another thing I need to throw that down so I can finally angel ring. Right, I need to get the end. That's the problem. Kind of annoying that this can spawn. All right, but there we go. And then as we expand it, it'll get bigger and bigger.
should build like a, a ladder up here or something. I'm going to keep coming up and down. So, yeah, so it's producing 2,000. Not a lot, but hey, it's something to... It's just a start. Um, feed into here. Oh, obviously it's solar. It doesn't produce at night. Nothing I can do about that, but... Well... I can't get it to produce at night, but I can sleep, if I remember. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not super worried about it at the moment, but... I'm like, how are we? <laughs> how are we? Input. Alright, there we go. I did not have it inputting. So that just helps a little bit. It'll help fill that up. But, uh... Yeah, uh, like I said, going to continue crafting this up. So, like, the next one, I probably should have. Well, I didn't really need to place it down, but, yeah, I'll probably do up to at least this one, I think. I don't know. We'll see how many I have resources for. And I'll start getting resources for this stuff as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.